Coach Hannes, I know we talked, you know, way back in August on the or September on the coaches show. You go from a year where maybe you kind of know every answer a little bit what you're going to get heading to a season with just an experienced team. How's it been this year knowing you just got so many new pieces? Well, it's interesting bringing up Luke. We were talking about it this morning in our staff meeting, you know, as a coaching staff. We, I mean, we've got nine new guys now out there with, with Max being out. Um, so really, uh, we talked about just kind of learning on, on the job, so to say. We've seen a lot of these guys in the fall. We've seen a lot of them in scrimmages. You have the two fall games, which I don't know that they really resemble what a spring game is like. Um, and so st we're still learning what some of these guys are going to do when the lights are on um, as we go here. So we'll have to adjust as a staff. We'll have to do some things, figure out what guys are comfortable doing, what they're not, you know, in the heat of battle, and kind of adjust that lineup as we go. And all that being said, that's on the field with our position guys. Um, we have a lot of veterans back on the pitching staff. You know, the, the hope is always that you come out of the gate and you pitch it and catch it. Uh, and with the veterans we have on the staff, we feel good about the guys that we can run out there to the mound. Uh, it's just a matter of making the plays consistently behind them. You mentioned how you just, there's so much new. You guys as staff, you guys have been through multiple different years. We got an experienced group, not experienced group, but where do you think the challenge has been most just for you guys and how you manage uh, the guys in terms of your fall games and, and now as you got in the practice and get ready for the year? Well, I, I think when you start, you have an idea of how you're going to line up and you start working every day with that in mind. And then I think as, as you have guys that aren't able to go or whatever, you start adjusting and, and moving guys around. So we're asking new guys to learn a couple of positions. Uh, and that's not always easy for them. But sometimes it's a little unfair that, hey, if this happens, we're going to put you here. If, that, if this happens, we're going to put you here. You know, you may play two or three positions, but uh, it just depends on what our what our squad looks like at that given time. So th that's kind of been the challenge moving forward is that some of these new guys are, are saying, hey, go get them. But yet we may be moving you around as the game goes. So that, that's probably been the toughest challenge here initially. You talked about the experience portion with your pitching staff, what it meant. You know, last year was so much fun. It seemed like people forgot that you didn't have a guy like Tristan Weaver. Um, to have Tristan back, yeah. to get him back into the fold. You know, it's been a long process for him to get him back. Well, and I, we've had a lot of conversation. You know, Connor Klein was out last year also, uh, even though he was new. Um, and we had a lot of conversation. What if, you know, everybody talks about the what ifs. What if we had Weaver and Klein last year? You know, how could that have changed, you know, the, that club? And so, unfortunately, we didn't have them. But fortunately, we do have them this year. And, uh, Tristan Weaver is a proven guy in this league. He, he threw well his first year here. Um, he's he's healthy. He's throwing well. It's nice to get him back in there. A quality left-handed arm to throw at people. And Connor Klein's been really good, you know, coming back from his surgery and throwing really well here early. So getting those guys that, you know, even though they didn't play last year, even though they didn't get experience last year, at least they were in the program, at least they were around that team. Uh, so I think that's that's really important as well. Knowing you start off against good competition and you're going to be on the road really for two weeks uh, to start off the year. Maybe some of the challenges that presents, but also, as you mentioned, you got a new group to be able to be on the road. Sometimes that could be the best thing for you. Well, and when we scheduled this last year, we wanted the extra practice time in warm weather, not knowing that um, when we leave later on the week, it's going to be in the 50s next weekend or whatever it is. So you, you never know with the weather up here, but at least down there, we knew if we were down there, we also have the opportunity to get two or three really good practices in between the games. So, and it, it's important for this group. Um, you know, we're going to play that first weekend. Uh, we're going to go through the things that, that we did well, the things that we did poorly, and really go to work. And that's for all new guys that come to this level. Once the season begins, it's not, hey, we're just going to play and see how we stack up. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done all season long to keep improving. Dan Spicelin ready for this season? We will see Dano tomorrow night. Uh, picking up our gear. He's actually driving down and going to haul us around when we're in Florida. So he gets the easy job. He gets to drive down. We have to fly. But Dano's ready. I guarantee it.